the definitive Usain Bolt interview. In this tell-all profile, Usain opens up on deeply personal matters. Welcome, I'm Ian Boyne. Good to have you on set. Well, I can't promise what I don't deliver. I promise <laughs> to tell on the interview. <laughs> so you can't check it out on, on, on me now. First, I like the haircut. Much better than, than what you had at, at the World Championships. Why you didn't get a good haircut at the World Championships? I said to my wife, why are you saying one, you know, get a good haircut? Now, you know, so I found out this year that I have a superstition. I've never I always tell people I don't have a superstition. And then I found out I have a superstition. Every World Championship, I don't cut my hair. But Ooh. Czech Olympics, I'm well groomed. But the world, yeah, you look tough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but your performance was spectacular. I mean, and, and that's what, um, that's what uh, people pay to see you, and that's what we, we want to um, see. <laughs> Lots of people, as you know, are interested in your, in your personal life. Mm -hmm. They want to know whether you're dating somebody steady. I mean, I know you have girls. They assume yeah. that you have girls. Right. But is you a special person? Yes, yes. A yes. special person? Yes. A Jamaican? It's a, Jama a, Jamaican. Yeah? A, a Jamaican. A Jamaican? A Jamaican. Yes? A Jamaican. Uptown, Uptown Jamaican? Uh, she wouldn't want to classify herself as Uptown, but I classify her as Uptown. You classify her Uptown? Yeah, or, I classify her as Uptown. Her behavior yeah. and mannerisms are Uptown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she's from Ola, actually. She's from she's Ola, yeah. Not that you're an exclusively Uptown um, girl, man. Yeah. No, no, never enough. For me, <laughs> for me, you know, uh, uh, I just live my life. What do you look for? Much. What do you look for in a woman? Well, you have to say the physical attributes. Physical. First. That's important. That's the, that's the first thing, definitely. A uh, certain height or. No, or not you know, definitely. Mind. You know. it can be, uh, it can be petite. The truth, tell the truth. Uh, One of the things that, for me, stands out is, is uh, the Botox era. Okay, or well, you're a man who looks like yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's that. important for that you. For me, that's, that's what stands out. That's the most outstanding thing. Up, for you growing growing up, up, that's what I really. That's what really attracts me. I see. That's the first, first thing. Yeah, that's you, that. um, you, you see. So uh, I did mostly curve, curve versions. Women. women. Yes. That's what mostly. you um, yeah. that you like. Yeah. yeah. A lot of those women are in the, in the city. <laughs> 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 tell us about this. How long you have been you have been going out with this person? Um, uh, almost uh, two two years. Two and a half years. Eight months. And the press and, and, and the press not, hasn't gotten on to it yet. No, I've tr I've tried my best, you know. To, to keep it on a certain level. I've explained to her that when it comes out, it's not going to be as as she thinks it's going to be. She's going to be under a lot of scrutiny. Uh, yeah, and a lot of people try to attack her and differently. So I tell her, let's just take it easy and let's make sure that you're ready for this before we actually make the move of saying... Is she younger yes. than you? Yes, yeah, she's younger than me. Yeah, about how much? She's 26. She's yeah, yeah. 26 and yeah. you are... 29. You're at 29. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. a good um, age. Yeah, man, very good. So is it two, two years and, and eight months? Yeah, two years and eight months. Yeah, that's steady enough. Steady enough, definitely. So how she deals with all the rumors that, you know, you're a party man, you're a girl's man? <laughs> well, uh... She, she's very jealous? I, would, I wouldn't say that, no, but every woman um, has some jealousy. Yes. But uh, before we start the relationship, I kind of put her on a guard from early out and yes. explain to her. Listen, Give her a brief it. This is how I am yes. as a person. And I'm young and I'm, I'm instilled in the phase which I like to have a little bit of fun. And I explain to her and she, she takes it well and she understands. But I don't try to disrespect her anymore. So you don't flaunt it? Never. So, never, so, so never you, you wouldn't take out another woman with you to a club? Never. You don't do no, that? No. So you don't pick up a woman no. and take her to a club? No. I mean, if anything were to happen, you mean you'll probably meet somebody and so on. Yeah. But, but you don't directly go for another woman. No. So you wouldn't take somebody else to, to dinner? No, man. Apart from no, your mean. No, I don't even like, I don't really go to dinner that much. You're not, yeah. You understand? She's the only one that gets me to actually go to dinner. You go to dinner with her sometimes? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I keep her having many Fridays. She wants to go to dinner, to the movies, just to chill out, go for a weekend. You go to movies like in that, Jamaica? Yeah. You I actually like watching movies. You, know? you go to movies? Yes, uh, I, yeah. I do go to the movies. A lot. Yes. And you turn up at where? Up, up at... Up at... Um, Carib. Sub Carib. At Carib. Carib is where I go. Because Across Carib has more... Right. Yeah. More something there. More options. Mm -hmm. So it's easier to go to Carib. Yes. Yeah. So you are not a man who would show disrespect by taking out somebody else. Because people watching. You know? 
Of course, you have, you, you have people watch and and you, you have hide. a few people around who knows that we're, we're dating and know that it's getting serious. So they're definitely watching and trying to find ways of trying to break it up. And even men it surprised me the most. <laughs> men, me understand men that. Carry news? Yeah, that it shows me off most of the time to know that. I, a man, but we understand. Ah, so some your friend them carry you, so? No, I'm a friend them would be. Your friend them loyal to you. No, <laughs> the most loyal. That's why I have friends, you know. Yeah, That's yeah. the loyalty, man. So, but for me, it is what it is, and me know the people are here. So me, me try to keep it at a level and mm -hmm. show sure respect as much as possible. So you, you get to spend a lot of time with her? Yeah, man. This man. Yeah, yeah, man. You spend yeah, a lot of time. Uh, she I, comes I up to your house. I try my best. Yeah, yeah. You don't really go to her. You go to her house too? Yeah, man. So neighbors, your neighbors who see you. Are you kind of sneak up in the night? No, and no. I don't, I don't definitely hide. You're a big I don't definitely hide. It. Yeah. I don't definitely hide. You understand? Anybody who say, say. Yeah. I don't have a problem with that. But we just don't try to put it out in the media like, yeah. here she is. Because I personally know what's going what's gonna to happen. Yes. You understand? And I remember I said to her, I said, listen to me. You need to tell me everything from now. True. Because. The press will find out. I will, I will hear. I mean, I want nothing too true. shocking to hit me. So yes. you need to tell me from now. So I know and understand yes. what the situation is. So I can say, all right, cool. At least I knew that before, yes. whatever. Because the press will dig and people will talk. So a lot of stories will circulate. Yes. So I need to know yes. Yes. what's what. So when people come and say, listen to me, is this she is worried like when you go abroad? Because sometimes things appear in the press. With you and some of these white girls yeah. and so on, and you know she she gets scared. She kind of feel that you you go and leave her like you leave other girlfriends. Uh, you know, no, I have married to I've, some white I've girl, not, but I've not really had many girlfriends over the years. You haven't, you haven't had many girlfriends? No, officially probably three or four. Officially, yes, yeah, three or four. Yeah, I've I've not really. And they've usually lasted a long time. Yeah, I've always really had long relationship. Just one short one, Just <laughs> very one short, short one. one. So, so you're a man who seeks stability in relationship, you yeah, say? because that's how I was, I was, I was brought up. I was brought up in a family. Yes. So Your mother and father worked together for a long, a long time. time. Yeah. So uh, I, I know that's what I want for myself. Mm. You know, so. And you would get married and settle down? Yeah, for sure. For sure. You would? Uh, for sure. I, I, I can't put a time frame on it. But I definitely know that if I find the right girl and if it works out, I will definitely get married. But I have to make sure it's the right girl. Yes. Yeah. But even right now, there are married women who would be making advances at you. You wouldn't deal with a married woman? No, no. Not never, even for a never, one night? Never, never. Uh, uh, principle. You're serious? You're serious? Uh, yeah. I, my daughter, not I even for a fling? Me. Not even for a fling. I'm not, I'm not a type of person. I, I look at it as if you're married, you should be happy. Mm -hmm. If you're not happy, then leave the person. Mm -hmm. as simple as, that's how I see it. So why should I involve myself? Because if I involve myself, that means I'm... Yes, yes. I was brought up in the church. Yes. And so when I was younger, I was brought up in the yes. church. So I believe in the Bible. We are straight far from Bible, really. Man. Yeah, but we understand. Yeah. We know that we grow. The few things which, which are hard, we understand. But I see. <laughs> what may I say, we don't want to stray too far from the Thank Bible. Thank you very much. Especially something as secret as marriage. I don't want to be involved in that. Yes, you understand? Yes. So you have such a high respect for marriage yeah. that you wouldn't want to violate anybody else's marriage? No, not at all. Not at all. And married women have come after you. Yeah, I've attractive had, too. I've had <laughs> very, very good I buttocks say. and all that kind I'm of very, thing. Yeah, I must say very. But as I said, I just have. You have had the character to resist them. You yeah. said to them, no. Yeah, I've been in a situation where a married woman, she had, she never used to wear a ring. Yes. And I never knew until the last moment. I said, no, I can't do this. You put out. I can't say I can't do this. No, no, I cannot do this. You're that serious. Is, yeah. I wonder if it was so superstitious that guy crosses our fire. You know what I'm saying? Not that. People say it, but I don't really doubt it. It's really, really that moral ground. It's moral you know, about the situation. Right? But I do hear people say it crosses the fire. But it's not really. <laughs> it's not really that. that. It's just that how I was brought up and the way I look at marriage. And I don't feel like I should be involved in something like that. Yes, yes. And you want to be very careful before you make that, that step. Yeah, man. It's You're not big, being married it's after. Big, it's a big step. Yeah. Big step. Yeah. Yeah. Marriage is a, is a very big step. Yeah. And you feel that after you marry, you will settle down? For sure, for sure. For sure? For sure. Without a doubt. You're not going to be a married I'm, man I'm, and a full round. I've told her and I said, listen to me, when I'm married, I c for me, that's one of the things that bothers me the most. When I say married man, especially with the young, extra young girls, I'm like, yes. what do you do with yourself? You know, so yes, yes, I yes, can't yes. understand this. If you decide to, to get married, you're getting married. This man said, don't rush in, David, don't ready, just don't ready. The woman has to understand. She sh you can't force a man into doing something yes. that he's not ready to do. But you don't really okay. respect a man who married a, a Czech woman. I don't, no, I don't believe in them something. 
You understand? You're knowing things about you seeing both that you never knew before. You never knew that he had such strong views on moral issues. He's speaking very frankly. He's just starting. There are other things about which you will speak equally frankly. You're watching Profile.